Hello and welcome back to the SciStorm Esports Network. I'm your host, Chicken Man, here to bring you your weekly esports results and highlights from all the major tournaments going on in esports this past week. Today we're starting out with one of the most talked about esports events of the year, the VCT Masters in Reykjavik. Top 10 teams in Valorant traveled to Iceland where they battled it out all week to determine which team would reign supreme. Wondering, you know, oh, but they just got kills. <laughs> We're not talking about it. They got pistols. Again, we set these expectations time and time again. But when you're this deep into the half, two or three kills, it's going to do nothing for you. Oh, no. Oh, how, how could you? That's just how rude, man. That's just so rude. How dare you, young Pete? We were having a nice, clean game. And you've decided to do that. Eventually, it would be left to the Sentinels and Fnatic in the Grand Finals, where the Sentinels would take it 3-0, completing their undefeated run through the tournament, and proving that they are currently the best team in Valorant. They're running through. Sonar up. Dome is close. They don't know. <gasps> oh my god, he gets flashed! The team flash! The team flash! Magnum's in the smoke here. Ten oh my god! Four. Magnum's got no HP! Not like this! Sentinels! They're gonna get the defuse! They've done it! Sentinels are the masters to Reykjavik! Of course, Valorant is a fairly new game, but this event cemented it as a mainstay in the esports world. Speaking of mainstay esports event, there was a ton of Counter-Strike going on this week, as always. We have seven events to cover, starting with Flashpoint Season 3, which wrapped up this week as Mouse Sports took down Ninjas in Pajamas in the Grand Finals. Two to one. Every time he's such a beast for ninjas in pajamas. Three unrelenting kills from Rez. And Shush is left in the market. He wants to press forward. Oh my god, he's such a beast. By the bench now, a perfect position. Not spotted just yet, but even if he is eliminated here. Oh, the angle is held by Plopsky. A perfect crossfire. The CS Summit 8 finished up this week as well, and it was Team Liquid taking down Furia Esports in their grand finals. Waiting for you. Mm. Well, is this the end of the line? Is this when the big pain oh. stops? Because it looks like it. VSM with the... Republic continue their playoffs. Still seven teams playing for it all as the matches continue over the next two weeks. Shot from Fizi. That flash will win some time. Duplicate dropping the bomb. 23rd kill for this man. Not 24th, at least not yet. LNZ will go down. That is the round for Skate 12-4. Spring Sweet Spring number two is nearly complete. Their first playoffs round is done and it is down to the top eight teams to finish it out. Spero though, proving why. Yetker still on hack. Oh! Yetker hacking away and getting the second as well. Okay. Back to a 3v1. First round of overtime, DK. Might go to Visla as it seems like, and it will go to Visla. The Epic League had two regions finish up their brackets this week. Oceania saw the Renegades take down Order in the finals 2-0. Order. Addict's going to be taken out by Sterling there. Two remaining T's now trying to cross through. Sterling still going to be trained on that cross angle though. Catches another one in his trap. And in the CIS region, Gambit Esports defeated Virtus Pro 3-1. And to finish up our CSGO for the day, we have the ESEA Premier had a group stage matches throughout Europe, Australia, and North America. Smokes and Flash being thrown in. They're going to go for a B short execute. And we're going to see if Cryptic going to charge in first. Cryptic charges in. One through apps as well. Cryptic checking bench. He can't point anyone not. Papa Doxy will hold off one. He holds a second. He cannot dazz with the trade in the end. And now Chini's taking down yellow at bench. Just leaves Kiyoshi. Kiyoshi's taking up by Chini as well. And that is going to be it. I'm going to say and that is going to be in the end. Camouflage. The smoke screen and back well i was gonna say back right out but no he wants to actually come back into the fight which they won't expect oc is dropped there's another player here in hell that's marky he fighting from the ramp but they're ready for it tried to make a cheeky play and well cheekily he will die so it's gonna be up to marky and sonic but what? sonic lines them up a collateral three kills now let's dip our toes in the moba scene for a bit there weren't any league events this week but Dota did have a couple for us. The I-League is poised to begin their playoffs as the group stage is all finished up. 
No word yet on the schedule for that, however. Well, he gets away with it just a little bit. Remember, he's got a secondary leap forward. He used that. He gets up to the high ground. Yo, what is this XXS pool? Why in here? He drops the arena. Zinku's in super deep. The cold embrace. The winner's curse has all been used. Maybe not the cold embrace. That's it, though. And the Pinnacle Cup is down to the final match. Windstrike team and Team Spirit will be playing in the finals this week. That's all for Dota as the top 18 teams head to Kyiv for the Animator. We covered that all in detail last week, so if you're a little behind, go ahead and check that out. Next week's episode will have the first results from that tournament. Heading over now to StarCraft. Quite a bit actually happened this week. The GSL Super Tournament number two finished up and crowned a champion as Trap wins his second Super Tournament in a row over Zaun with a 4-2 in the Grand Finals. These disruptor shots, the next is so low, it looks like it's gonna fall here, putting him back on a three compared to Trap's four. Yeah, getting a couple good hits here and there, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna be enough. Trap even saving that last Archon as he gets away, up 40 supply right now on four bases against three. 20 probe advantage. It seems impossible. Let's see what these disruptor shots can do. They're great. Oh, that one gets lifted, unfortunately, and GG is called. The World Team League finished up round nine. Team Envy still undefeated with two rounds left to go. That's going to be seeing the rest of this continuing in here. These lurkers all going down, and that is just going to melt everything. So Kara is going to continue through. Void's activating. I mean, it's basically the corruptest verse of the world at this point. Some storms coming down, and I don't think, I mean, even if you clean up this army of Austin, I don't think you have enough left over anyway, G. The DreamHack SC2 Masters had a lot of action this week with four players qualifying for the season finals. In Oceania, it was Probe who defeated Seether 4-1 in the finals. In China, Time defeated Jieshi 4-3 to qualify. Single target damage on the Stalkers as well. The Immortal can get nowhere near it. The Blink forward completely denied by his oh own force skills at the Engineering Bay. Comes into the Meat Grinder and Coffee says, no sir, I'm not losing TVP, not just yet. Taiwan had nice takedown Hass in a close 4-3 finals. And in Latin America, Special defeated Eric 4-0. I mean, as good as Eric could have hoped for, but special still punching oh, through no. and it really goes to show just how big of a macro monster special is because uh i mean yeah he did a little bit of damage early on but nowhere near enough to justify taking that much damage to start the fight and still being able to push on through and as confidently as he is i mean he hasn't stopped at all it lo it's looking rapid like we will have that quick 4-0 both europe and north america have finished up their group stages and the playoffs for those regions will begin this week. Now with more zealots to try and guide those Arkans in. But again, there's just so much here for Showtime. His army supply is still kind of growing here. Skillis now is starting to diminish. Yeah, unfortunately... I think we're uh, going to have to 2-0. Unfortunately here for, for uh, Skillis, Showtime thriving in the limelight here is Skillis. Well, he's tried his hardest, but his all-in did not work. His DTs did not work. Nothing really has been working for him in at this game. Over in StarCraft Remastered, the Afrika Star League is preparing for their finals between Mini and Larva, while Zero and Hero fight for third place this week. This is not Hero's day. Every time when Hero is trying to do the Mira Micro, pick up the drone oh, or no. pick up the skirts, it wasn't really working really well. But it's still plus one armor for Larva versus plus two. I don't think he realizes it, but the spores are doing so much damage. Why is he sitting right next to the oh, spore? No. He's down to six mutilists left. How many does Larva have? It looks like he has way too many. Moving now from one Blizzard game to another. The Overwatch League continued the June joust. In the West group, both the Atlanta Reign and the Houston Outlaws have solidified a top spot. Crimso lays the pathway perfectly. And for Jungkook, he walks in and Jungkook knows he's getting topped up and there's extra damage to accompany the Tesla Cannon. Crimson fades out of the way, he's chilling. Supercharger there, just gonna get taken down. Dante removes that with that duplicated Diva and this is pretty much over. Self-destruct there from Blase, knocks Dante out of that form. And that will be it, the Houston Outlaws 
And in the East group, the Shanghai Dragons are currently on top. Available. He's trying to push in on the paper. The Nano is just keeping this Arisa alive. The Coach Gun pushing him back, so can't find any kind of opening to go in with that Death Blossom. And will just get picked off. It's 12 seconds remaining. They cannot afford to lose anybody else. Rez now going to be coming through the grab, going to be used. Dynamite to try to zone them back. Bob There's no one there to available. take advantage of Somebody has to touch. Gesture is alive. He's on the wrecking ball, but needs to make his way over to the point, and I just don't think he's going to be able to do it. He cannot. Still more games to come this week before the June joust finishes up. We also have the Overwatch contenders China finish their group stage. Billy Billy Gaming, first fabulous fighter, the one winner, and Team Chaser will start the playoffs bracket this week. Moving over to Apex Legends now, where the ALGS finished up their group stage in South America, as well as both Asia Pacific North and South. Top 20 teams from those regions will move on to the six round finals, which start up this week. All in, and GTS Bot going to get rolled up on. And let's take a look at the team. CGK just, just spraying and praying. There's a Constant Ult, but I don't know if it's going to be enough for the. He's, he's dead in there. Oh, wait a minute. 1v1. 1v1. He's going to take some zone damage. Dude, there's no way he's getting out of that. GG's. GG's. CGK taking first place there. Congratulations to CGK. Yeah. Um, we've got. A defensive bombardment ready for Sharky Drop to go. There. Now, this uh, bubble has gone down. The GB ultimate could be all that matters in this game. It's going to do huge damage to Tom Young Kung. Not so much to, um, to, to Rig, who are inside the caravan, or at least got their own bubble at the moment. So poor timing there means uh, Tom Young Kung not doing so well. And it's all going to come down to oh. this. And in a matter of... Also beginning this coming week are the North American and EMEA regions group stages. So keep an eye out for those results moving forward. Picking out Street Fighter V now, Capcom Pro Tour held their Brazil event with Ronaldinho able to take it in a close finals over Jalexi. Get rid of another V-bar from the side of Jalexi if he builds it. I think that would be a pretty significant win for Zengi. That could have been it right there, that low jab into the trigger, but he... <gasps> He did not jump out of it! He did not jump out of it! He thought it was his turn to press a button! Sometimes you just do it. Getting stopped a little bit, the X tragedy assault. Now, Oki gets a throw now, almost about to tie it up. Not chasing down the jump out. Gets a full on combo. Close one more for stun. He Close gets the stun. stun. Can he close it off? No! This is his time! He has the meter! And he's got a time! Ronaldinho is the Brazil CPT champion. He qualifies. And our final games of the day are both Call of Duty. We'll start with some Warzone, where the Huskers Howl got through most of their bracket. The Grand Finals is scheduled to be held this week. And as he is going to get out of the Gulag and rejoin Rated oh, back in Ground Zero over here in Vodansk. Rated. Looking for this bounty kill. We'll find yet another one. This bounty kill is still in the vicinity for Raider to pick up. Yeah, then it's Shaper. I got them. Now thinking about getting to the top of this roof. And oh, I guess he's not even done yet. And over in the Call of Duty League, they begin their stage four groups. Right now, the Atlanta Phase and Florida Mutineers sitting on top of their respective groups. A long way to go before anything is settled. He's not able to find the kill. Meanwhile, Havoc does open up with the first. Pay attention to number six. Guys can make the play. Sky's on the flank. He finds insight. And with that, the three versus two. Gammy, Kleenex. Left to try to watch over each other, but Kleenex from the top rope is able to find one. Meanwhile, it's Awakening, winning the biggest of fights. No one versus two in Florida. Well, that does it for this week's eSports recap. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. If we missed any events or esports that you want to see us cover, let us know down in the comments. I'll be back next week with more results for you, so don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all this action. I've been Chicken Man here for the SciStorm Esports Network. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.